fourth graders, today we are continuing right along with Eureka Math Module 1, Lesson 3. Okay, and today what we're going to do is we're going to use what we know about place value to name and use and do equations with numbers all the way up to 1 million. 1 million feels like a really big number, but if you use what you know about place value, you can work with numbers that are up to 1 million. Okay, let's first solve the problem of the day. We've been working with place value charts, and each day the place value chart has grown a little bit bigger. The first day it only went up to the thousands. Yesterday I think it went up to the hundred thousands, right? Today we're going to go up to the millions, okay? So on this place value chart, if the first digit over here, first position is the ones period, what would this period be called? Or sorry, what would this position be called? Everyone? Tens. Tens. What would this one be called? Hundreds, good. And so all together, when I have the ones, tens, and hundreds, that makes one period, right? This is, as we know, this is called the ones period. Okay, you can just look for now. Then we have the next period. What is the next period called? What is the next period called? Kashyap? The thousands. the thousands period, very good. And the thousands period is going to follow the same pattern. We're going to have a ones, a tens, and a hundreds. So what do you think this place value position will be called? The one, everyone? One thousands. What's this part going to be called? The ten? Ten thousands. Good. And what's this one going to be called? Hundreds thousands. Good. Okay, there you go. So you have the one thousands, the ten thousands, and the hundred thousands. And all together, those three place value positions make up the thousands period. Using this pattern, what do you think will be next? If I tell you that the next period is called the millions period, what do you think this place value position will be called? Swarnima? One million. One millions. What do you think this one will be called, Arna? Ten million. Ten million. What do you think this one will be called, Sanvi? Hundred million. Hundred million. Exactly. Okay, so it looks like a lot of zeros, but now that you know the pattern, you know that it's the one millions, the ten millions, and the hundred millions, and all together they make the millions period. Give me a thumbs up if this is review or this makes sense to you. Okay, very good. If we have a very long number like this, how can we use peer, uh, commas to show where the periods are? Because once we know where the periods are, then we know how to say that number. So first, copy these digits in that exact order into your notebook. And then see if you can use commas to show where the periods should go. A very common fourth and fifth grade mistake is people say, okay, I know that there are three digits in a period. So I'm going to count one, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. Would that be correct? No. When we're talking about periods, we want to start from the smallest place value position. What is the smallest place value position here? The what's place? Varshini. The ones place. And what digit is in the ones place? Anushka? Five. Five. Very good. So we're going to count ones, tens, hundreds. That is the end of the ones period. So let's put a comma there. Then we're going to move into what, what period? The thousands period. Good. So we're going to count one thousands, two, uh, ten thousands, hundred thousands. We need another comma there. Okay. My thing is laggy, but we need another comma. There we go. We need another comma there. Then we move into the millions. We have one million, ten million, hundred million. We need another comma there. Then we actually move into the billions here. Okay. So let's practice saying this number in word form. Let's start with the biggest period. This is the billions period. What number do you see in the billions period? Three. So we just say three billion. Then let's move to the next one. What number do you see in the millions? 608. So we say 608 million. What number do you see in the thousands period? Zara? 431. So we say 431,000. What number do we see in the ones period? Avani? No, in the ones period, not the ones place, the ones period. 325. So all together this number is, let's say it together, 3,608,431,000. Okay, do you guys see how knowing the periods helps you say the number in word form? Very good. In this question, it's asking me to add 300 thousands to 700 thousands. So I have to find the 100 thousands column, which is right here, 
right? And I have to add 300 thousands, and then I need to add another 700 thousands. So if I have 300 thousands, and then add seven more hundred thousands, how many hundred thousands do I have altogether? What's three plus seven? Everyone? Ten. So altogether I have ten hundred thousands. That's one way to say the answer. Is that the standard way to say that answer? What do you guys think? Ten hundred thousands. Is that the standard way to say that answer? No, no because I know that ten hundred thousands is equal to one what? One what? Ten hundred thousands is equal to, look on the place value chart, we know it's ten of them can be treated for one adjacent one to the left. So it's equal to one, what, Sachi? Million. One million, very good. So there's two ways to write this answer. The unit form way would be to say that this equals to ten hundred thousands. But the standard way would be to say that this is equal to one million. I need to put five in the thousands column. Yes? Now if I make ten copies of that, how many thousands would I have? What's five times ten? Everyone? Fifty. So I have fifty thousands. But I know that ten thousands equals one ten thousand. So fifty thousands is really equal to five ten thousands. Do you guys agree? So therefore, five thousand times ten is equal to fifty thousand. How many thousands are in the answer? How many thousands are there in fifty thousand? Zara? Fifty. Fifty, very good. Okay, so when you see questions like that, that's how you answer them. We might see lots of different units that we all have to multiply by 10. The parentheses tells you that we're multiplying 27 thousands by 10, we're multiplying 3 hundreds by 10, and we're multiplying 5 ones by 10. So we're going to start by writing all these numbers in the place value chart. We have 27 thousands, so go ahead and put 27 in the thousands column. We have 3 hundreds, so go ahead and put that in the hundreds column. And we have 5 ones, so go ahead and put that in the hundreds column. Now what we need to do is multiply all of those by 10. So what's 27 times 10? What's 27 times 10? Are enough? Okay, so if we make 10 copies of 27 thousands, we end up with 270 what's, what units? 270, everyone, what column is it in? The? Thousands. thousands. Good. So we have 270 thousands. Good. And then let's talk about the hundreds. If we have 3 times 10, how many hundreds do we have all together? Everyone? Everyone? 30. 30. Very good. 30 hundreds. If we have 5 times 10, how many ones do we have? 50 ones. So one way we could say this answer is 270,000, 30 hundreds, and 50 ones. But that's a weird way to say the answer, huh? It's not the standard form. So now we have to regroup. We have to figure out where these values really go. So we know that 10 thousands equals 1 ten thousand. Do you agree? Do we have at least 10 thousands in 270 thousands? Do we? How many tens do we actually have? 270. How many tens are in 270, Sanvi? Huh? There's 270 tens in 270? If I had 270 and I want to break them up into groups of 10, how many groups of 10 would I have? Kashyap? 27. So that means that these 27 actually go to here. I have 27 ten thousands. Do you guys agree? Yes? But what do we know about 27 ten thousands? Actually, 20 of them can really be 200,000. Do you agree? Okay. So now we have... Two hundred thousands, seven ten thousands, zero, see how we're left with only zero, zero thousands. But now we have thirty hundreds. What do we know about those thirty hundreds? That's really equal to, Anushka? Mm, three, thousand. three thousand, because these three, thirty can go here to three thousand. Now we don't have any zero, any hundreds left. We don't have any tens yet, but our fifty ones, that's really equal to? Five tens. Do you guys agree? 
So all together, what's our final answer? How many hundred thousands do we have, everyone? Two. Two. Okay. How many um, ten thousands do we have? Seven. How many thousands do we have? Three. How many hundreds do we have? Zero. Zero. Good. How many tens do we have? Five. How many ones do we have? Zero. Good. So our final answer then is two, seven, three, zero, five, zero, or 273,050. Let me ask you a question. How many thousands are there in that number? There's 273,050. How many thousands do I have? Just listen to the number. 273,050. Anshul, how many thousands are there in 273,050? There's only three thousands? There's a three in the thousands place, but all together, how many thousands are there? 273 thousands are in your answer. Very good. Okay, that's tricky. Good.